stations come back to us immediately on this frequency. 118.15. November 158, Our healing has more to do with relationships and the active reintegration into what it means to be a social being in America than it does to have just simple prescriptive, you know, you, we can identify this thing all we want to, but until we realize that we're humans here, and part of the issue is a simple social reintegration, or a very active reintegration socially. I started going to therapy for, for, for the first couple months. I, I went through a couple therapists, and I, I had a real hard time trusting them. Nobody knows what we were through, what we went through, except the people that were in that truck that day. Just by having somebody out there who knows what you went through and who gets it is, is you know, there's, you can't replace that. Eventually things will get better, you know, but the other person in the relationship has to be willing to have patience with you. You know, and you gotta have patience with them when they get fed up with you and you gotta understand why they're fed up with, with your, you know, your, your angerness and your bitterness and stuff. My best friends are the newer guys coming home from war. And I guess I reach out to that, to you guys, is you don't have to live like this. You don't have to be where I'm at right now. Stay in touch, keep in touch with uh, the guys that you were over there with. Uh, because while you were over there, they were looking out for you and you were looking out for them. And I, I believe that that should continue even when you're back home. Join a support group or go to a veterans meeting and, and talk about these things because you're gonna be sitting right there with people who know exactly what you're talking about. I went into a state where I just didn't want to talk to anyone because whenever I came back, they just kept asking, what happened, what'd you see, what, what, everything? And I didn't, I just didn't want to talk about it. I mean, we all need someone to talk to, someone who can understand and not judge. Just to be able to tell some war stories and throw it around with, with some other guys who have been there and done that, have done things a hundred times crazier than I ever did, um, that's been helpful. That's been, that's how I've been healing day to day. I started to become a little more optimistic towards life again. Um, and started to realize that, hey, I've been provided with the opportunity to, to live a good life, and it's, it's, it's really my responsibility now to make that happen. And I certainly think that therapy w was the main thing that got me into that mindset. Um, and the people who helped sustain me in that, that aspect or try to help me keep an optimistic outlook on life are my friends and my support group and my, my family.